Welcome to How It Works, a video series from Law Sites in which you get to see hands-on demonstrations of legal tech products directly from the developer. I'm Bob Ambrogi, the publisher of Law Sites, and today's featured product is Practice Panther, a leading cloud-based law practice management software solution that serves tens of thousands of legal professionals in 170 countries. Joining me to tell us about it today is Brian Gomez, Account Executive at Practice Panther. Brian, welcome. Thank you, Bob, for having me. So for anyone that doesn't know, um, Practice Panther is a full suite case management software. We've been in the market space for over nine years now. Our big value is that we're able to make everything in regards to automating your law firm, saving you time and money in a very easy to use platform with as little of a learning curve as possible. So I'm really excited to show you what we have here today. Well, let's do it. Show us how it works. Absolutely. So um, one of the big things that I want to show in this particular video and what has helped a lot of attorneys that I personally have worked with is our automation. With automation, we want to pretty much speed up the time it takes for you to do repetitive tasks that you normally spend hours or days on hand working on it. So what I'm going to show first off is going to be our intake forms. I work with all kinds of practice areas that typically they'll have forms for clients to fill out when they just come into their office or when they're in a meeting. So with our software, we found a way to really simplify it and also make it very hands-free for the law firm and attorneys working on it. So the way it works on our software, when you go to create an intake form, you can create as many templates as you want. So let's say we're just going to do a brand new client that is just curious about what we could do for them, right? We give you, when you set this up, an embedding link if you would like to also have it on like your contact us page, which would be great for any modern law firm that wants to have it on their website to capture any potential new clients too. But we can pretend that let's say I'm the client and you're sending me this link via email and I'm going to go ahead and fill this out online, right? So I'm going to go here and as you can see, it's completely personalized. You can have your own logo here for your law firm. You can design how you want it to be spelled out with all the lines for text. So with this simple form, as an example, let's say I'm going to enter in a person's name. Let's say I'm going to do Melissa Wolf, right? You can enter in phone number, email, very standard things here. The key is that all of these fields that are going to be entered in this form are going to auto populate on Practice Panther. So rather than the attorney actually having to write this down on a phone call or the paralegal or anything like that, you can just send the form to your client. They could fill it out online for you. And once they hit submit, everything will automatically populate in your Practice Panther system. So when you go into Practice Panther, you'll notice that the client, Melissa Wolf, just filled out that form. You didn't do anything. And you could see that automatically created in Practice Panther. So as you can see right here, there's Melissa Wolf. And you have all the information that she had entered into that form. And to make your life even easier, you can also automate it to where after any time someone fills out a form, you can have it create automated tasks if you always like to have a follow-up with that client at a certain day after they filled out the form. So it's already in place right here in the program. Any questions about that? Brian, I do have a question. Uh, if a client goes to a form that you've posted on your website or when you send a client a link to a form, how secure is that information that the client is providing through that form? Mm -hmm. Now, that's a very good question. So. When you fill out an intake form, we are certain to have a recapture link on there, which before you submit, it's going to ask you to click here to prove you're not a robot. Sometimes it will even ask you like pick how many squares show a bicycle and those kind of security questions to make sure that you're not getting any breach through those forms at all. So once you have a client created through that form, it's very easy for you to then go and create a matter or do anything that you would want from there. Now, what really helps, and I'm going to show you within this next um, aspect of the software, which is going to be um, through like workflows and setting up document templates, we can start off by creating a new case for the client. 
whenever you create an intake form or any template that you have in the system, they all base off of custom fields, which are up to you to design as much as you want. So for example, if you have a law firm that practices several different types of law and they have specific forms that they want to send out to clients based on if they do like a divorce or if it's a criminal case, estate planning, you can actually set up these custom fields here in your matter and group them together based on practice area. So you can really organize all of your questions in advance. So the system knows whenever you take, let's say, a divorce case, maybe you don't want to be asking criminal related questions, unless, of course, that led to the divorce. But, you know, it's a different story. <laughs> so you can select that group that you want. And these fields of questions can also be used as an intake form, whether it's to create a new contact or auto populate into a new matter. And then, of course, um, with that being said, um, here, I can go ahead and create a case. Let's pretend that it's going to be like a flat rate case. And now that we have a case set up, I'm ready to go ahead and start creating a workflow. So with a workflow... Can I ask you just one other question before you go on to that? Just, just on the intake forms, how many intake forms can a law firm create? Oh, you can have as many intake forms as you'd like. There's no limit whatsoever. And you can have as many custom fields as you want on that intake form too. So now that you have a case set up, you're ready to go ahead and start making a workflow, which with a workflow, what you can do with that is you can essentially take any process that you have in your law firm, whether it's whenever you start a new case, get a new client, or you have to meet certain deadlines for the court, and you just want to have it all populated there instead of having to create things one by one manually, we can have Practice Panther take care of that. So the way that you could set up these workflows is very easy. So when you create a workflow, you can have as many workflows as you want. There's no limit to creating anything in Practice Panther. The options are pretty much limitless. So here, let's say you want to create a workflow every time you retain a new client. Someone just filled out that intake form. We now want to take the steps in to you know, start working on their case. So when you create an intake form, I mean, or a workflow, Essentially, the way that you can set it up is like this. So you have an event, which is going to be the route for all these following task deadlines to follow. So in this particular workflow that I have right here, I have whenever I retain a new client, I want the following tasks like getting an engagement letter emailed. You want this to, let's say, be due automatically one business day or more before or after that deadline. What's really cool about our workflows too, is that with some firms that have multiple users in them that are responsible for certain tasks and assignments in the firm, you'll be able to automatically assign certain things to other people. So instead of having to go in after the fact and add, let's say Jessica Sanchez into this task as an assignee, you can already do it from the get go. On top of that too, we even have built-in reminders as well to make sure that no one forgets the assignment. In fact, my personal favorite is that you could even send text messages, not just to you and your staff, but also to the clients themselves if you have their phone number and if it's something that they take part in too. Are these workflows all custom designed or are there templates for some of them? These are all custom designed. You can create an event and have as many events that would be triggers as you'd want. And you can have as many task deadlines as you would like to set up too. We even have our own training staff too that could even help you with setting that up or show you best practices depending on what kind of process you're trying to build. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then of course, not only can you have, let's say, all of these deadlines all correlate to the event, which is going to start it all. But if, let's say, it doesn't make sense to start this next task until you've completed the first one, our software is one of the very few programs in the market that allow you to have tasks start the deadline only after you've completed the previous one. So these can be conditional or all related to that event right here. So if let's say you were going to go to the contact and matter again, and you want to apply that workflow instead of having to create things manually on your calendar, 
you could just go right here to that green new button, apply that workflow that you want, pick and choose from all the ones that you set up. You only need to build this once and your workflow is going to be set up for life. So here you can see I have that same workflow that I was on before. You can move the date around for any time period. And as you can see, all the task deadlines are already right here with the people assigned to it already set up. And you can just go ahead and save that. And it will automatically add all the deadlines right here onto that Contacts Matter page. That's great. And also um, for any attorneys that use like a Google Calendar or Outlook system, our software integrates with both of those calendars as a two-way sync. So when you create things like workflows, this can also show up on the Outlook and Google calendars as well. So you'll be able to see it on both spaces. So the next thing I want to show was going to be the document templates. You know, a lot of attorneys are working with legal documents pretty often. Sometimes when I've spoken with attorneys on demos, they would typically have like a Word document that they use in the past. And then they would just change it up depending on who the client is or what type of case they're getting. So we found a way to pretty much automate that as well and save you a bunch of time. So in automation here, you'll also see the option for document templates. Now with document templates, going back to those custom fields that we set up in a matter or also on a contact, any of those custom fields can be used to create a document template. So if you're going to a document template and that you have, you can use it as a backbone and essentially look into Practice Panther for certain fields that you'd want it to pull from. So if let's say you want software to pull in the client's first name and last name, and you want it to show up in a certain space on your document, you could just copy and paste it in the position you want on that Word document. That's as easy as it gets. You could do this for as many times as you want. Any custom field that you create too can just simply be copied and pasted in whatever position you want on that Word document. So if I have documents that I was using before I was a Practice Panther customer, I can use those and, and move these fields onto those documents? Absolutely. Yeah, it will be even easier because if you already have that in play and maybe you had like underlined positions where you would mm -hmm. typically put like the first and last name, you can just simply replace that with the field right here. And how do I do that? Do I open the document right in Practice Panther or do I, how do I get those fields into the document? Yeah. So pretty much you would have like your Word document. You could take an existing one mm -hmm. and then just click copy, have your Word document opened up, and then you would just paste it right there right. where you want it. I get it. Mm -hmm. So let's say you have a document already in place. These documents too, like once you create the template, you only have to do it once and your work is done. So I can show you one that I've built. Um, I think I built this one about three years ago too, so it still holds up for me. So once you go to that contact and matter you want, you can just pick the template you would like to apply. And here I'll download it on my computer so you can see it. Yeah, this is one of my uh, sample templates that I've made. So I have it already set up with my law firm name, my name, the client, and the matter. As you can see, I left these bold so it's easier to see when the fields populate but you don't have to have it bold. You can pretty much have it match the exact text size and font is what you have here. And it will auto populate everything else. So all of that information that I brought into the system through that intake form a, a couple of uh, couple of screens ago uh, and that and brought into the Practice Panther system is now available to populate and create documents and templates uh, right out of Practice Panther. Exactly right. So in a way, you could think of it as kind of like a full circle machine. You start off with the intake form, you get your questions answered with those fields that can then be used to automate onto a document template of your choosing. Enter data once instead of five times. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And in some situations, instead of having to do all the data entry yourself, the client is doing most of the work at that point. Mm -hmm. So that helps. And especially nowadays, and we've been noticing this a lot too, um, as we've gotten more in demand for you know cloud-based technology and being able to work from different locations, 
getting signatures online is also a big thing too. Mm -hmm. So if you create a document template, we also have native e-signature built in with Practice Panther, which is excellent. So right from here, you can create your document template, send it with an e-signature request. We even have the option for you to even view whenever someone has received a document, signed it, or if it's still out for signature, but just hasn't been signed yet. All built into the same system, truly cementing having everything in one place with Practice Panther. And then I would like to talk about like our internal payments processor, um, Panther Payments. Um, so with Practice Panther, you get Panther Payments completely free with the software. So with that being said, you'll be able to accept online payments directly from our system. You won't have to go to any third party for that. You'll be able to send documents with a one link to get payment requests right from here. If you create an invoice, you can send that invoice to your client and there's an option to pay now directly on that invoice, making it really easy for the client, whether they want to pay with a credit card or an electronic check too. So important to have that ability these days, especially uh, after the pandemic when everybody's working from home. But just to be clear, it's it's free within Practice Panther, but they'll still be paying uh, credit card processing fees, right? Correct. Um, the ability to process the payments will be free for our credit card processing. It is an industry low of 2.8% on all credit card types. Typically, we've seen that with some of the other competitors, depending on the card type, even if it's not an American Express, if it's a rewards card like a Chase Sapphire or even a Visa that is a travel card or anything like that, mm -hmm. they'll typically charge it 3% or higher. Since it's a points card, they'll just classify that as Amex. So we try to be very transparent with just keeping it all the same. So you always know what you're paying at the end of the day. And you'll be able to even see your transaction fees within Practice Panther electronically and quickly rather than having to wait for like a paper statement in the mail at the end of the month. Great. Well, Brian, was there anything else you want to show us about Practice Panther today? I think that was a good amount. Uh, I definitely would um, want to thank you for having me on board. Um, I would much love to you know, be able to do a custom demo too for anyone that is interested. Um, so if you want to get a custom demo and get started, um, if you go to practicepanther.com slash demo, you can qualify for 15% off your first year on our business plan by coming to the How It Works site and just use the code BA15. That way we can tell that you came from Bob Ambrosi. Brian, that was great. That was a really helpful uh, overview. And I know we just touched on a lot of the features and there's a lot more to be seen. So uh, viewers, uh, take Brian up on his offer and go over to Practice Panther and check out uh, more about the product and ask for a full demo. That's it for today's episode of How It Works. If you want to find the full series of episodes, go over to lawsitesblog.com slash how it works. This is Bob Ambrogi. Thanks for watching. <laughs>